welcome to The Breakdown. I'm your host, Diane Rimbert, avid reader, award-winning literary blogger, and the founder of Diamonds Literary World, which is my footprint in the literary industry. Today I want to talk to you about a book that um, has received mixed reviews um, all throughout the industry. Um, I'm talking about the sequel. Now, if any of you um, were reading urban fiction back in the early 90s, we were introduced to a book called um, The Coldest Winter Ever by Sister Soldier. Um, blew everybody out of the water. And we were just like anxiously waiting the sequel. Well, she definitely delivered a sequel in the form of A Deeper Love Inside. The Porsche Santiago story. Um, the reason why I say it received mixed reviews, a lot of people um, either returned the book or just allowed it to collect dust on their shelves simply because they expected a winter times two. Now, just as a quick recap, winter was wild. Winter was in the streets. She was extravagant. She was Santiago's favorite um, by, by any means. Um, she was a, a, a young lady of privilege. Um, she had the finest of everything at such a young age. But she, you know, got caught up in the streets and we all know how that ended. It ended with Winter going to prison. Well, um, and, and that's definitely a book I recommend that you guys read. I actually think I'm going to reread it um, because I want to know if, you know, all these years later, how I feel about um, Winter and her story, The Coldest Winter Ever. So I want to revisit that. Stay tuned for that. In the meantime, A Deeper Love Inside. By um, it's about the second sister, the middle child, if you will. If you remember, um, the Santiago's had four daughters: Winter, the oldest, Porsche, and it's Porsche, not Porsche or anything like that. It's Porsche, like the car, and then the twins, Mercedes and Lexus. Um, and Porsche went through the middle child syndrome. Um, and this book actually takes place or it picks up, um, with her in a, uh, she, she gets in a group home or, or actually a, a facility because she's been tossed around to, um, several homes and they, there was a reason why, you know, either she left the home or she was removed from the home um, and, and I'll let you read the book, but it's interesting how she ends up in the facility that she ends up in. Um, and she meets these group of young ladies. And, um, they, the Diamond Needles. Um, uh, and, and so the Diamond Needles, she, she develops a friendship with them. Um, a couple of them escape. And so now we're watching Porsche at 10 years old. Um, go through things that I myself, at the age that I am, I don't know if I could have endured some of the things that she did. Yet, she did. Um, she learned some interesting things along the way, some life lessons. She met some interesting people. Um, and, and, and people she trusted. She actually, you know put her trust in some people um, because she was trying to make her way back to her mother. She all, you know, she wanted to do was make her way back to her mother, you know, find out what happened with Winter and with Mercedes and Lexus. So she's doing all of this. She's working. She's earning money. She, she promises that, you know, when I meet my, when I see my mom, you know, I'm, I'm going to beautify her. I'm going to buy back her mansion. Um, you know, all of these things in her young mind. Well, 
it doesn't exactly go the way that she plans on it going. Um, when she returns to the house, she finds out that it's under new ownership. She goes in search of her mom. She actually finds her mom. Um, and the condition that she found her in was devastating. Um, if you remember, in book one, her mother was... She was on drugs, and so it was kind of hard for Porsche to see, at, at this young age, to see her mother in that condition, but she did something. Um, she kicked into mother mode at, at, at her young age. She, her mission was to take care of her mom, nurse her back to health, um, using some of the remedies that she learned along the way. Um, and in the process... She meets a young man named Elisha. Oh, I love this young man. He was, he came from an affluent family. Um, they actually met at a um, organic uh, store. And they developed a, a friendship that blossomed into a teenage love. Yet, she had promised him that you know she would save herself for him because they were so young they were so young um and so Porsche goes off on her way you know to go do her thing and Elisha who wants to become a film uh he wants to create films and so he does his thing and then we find out you know some of the bits and pieces that come together as you read the story um of of, of the different various roles that they played in each other other's life in order to fulfill their greater destiny so um in the midst of all of this some of santiago ricky santiago's uh former cohorts I guess you can say or people that he did business with they actually look out for Porsche and this young lady is on her grind like she's she's working here she's doing this she's doing that all because she wants to um, give her mother the best life she wants to reconnect her sisters um, she now she she found out that um, her father is still in prison. She found out. She found out that Winter is in prison. So she wants to reconnect um, her mother and Mercedes and Lexus. She wants them to have like a normal life. So Mercedes receives a phone call, and um, informing her of her mo her mother's death, and she took that so hard because her one mission was to fill the five holes in her heart. Um, she always mentioned the five holes, one for her father, Ricky, one for her mother, one for Winter, one for Mercedes, one for Lexus. And so now she finds out that her mother has passed. She comes home, you know, um, and, and finds out that the funeral arrangements have been arranged because unbeknownst to her, um, Santiago is still controlling what goes on from behind gates, um, he his people have reached out to him and he's you know taking care of things but anyway um at the funeral she's reconnected with some very important people in her life um she's able to see her father although he's escorted there you know um by arm he he's he's shackled um Miss Mercedes is there and Lexus because they've been adopted by this man. Um, this name keeps coming up. Bilal O'Day. Bilal O'Day. Bilal O'Day. The one person that tried to visit her when she was um, incarcerated. Bilal O'Day. Come to find out, Bilal O'Day is none other than Ricky Santiago's right-hand man. Midnight. Um, ladies, we know our love affair with Midnight. So to see this man now grown, you know, he has adopted the twins. 
Um, and he's just, he's trying to be there for Porsche. Um, and, and, and so it's more mature. They're, they've both matured. Um, and I just love it. Like, as I was reading this book, I just kept seeing the maturity. Winter was a selfish, spoiled, young brat. Porsche had to grow up. She was so mature. She was wise beyond her years. Um, and you saw that even when she was talking to Midnight. Um, and he advised her. You know, he let her know that they had been, you know, she had been protected. Um, and, and they knew about Alicia. And he advised her to go and marry Alicia, which she does. And um, it basically just ends with, you know, them as a young couple, young married couple, parents. Um, she does happen to go see Winter. And that's where you see the difference in the sisters. Winter is still young in the mind, spoiled, selfish. Um, she's a brat. And Porsche, again, is just this mature, wise young woman who has everything that Winter wished for, um, but she went about it the wrong way. So, I highly recommend this book. Like I said, it was mixed reviews. A lot of people wanted, they thought that Porsche was going to be like the selfish, you know, person that her sister was. And I guess they couldn't get with the fact that she was much, much wiser. Um, she was an old soul, to be quite honest with you. And so, you know, like I said, a lot of people took it back. A lot of people let it um, collect dust on their shelves. I enjoyed this book so much. Um, and I thank Sister Soldier for, um, for what she did in this book. And now, and that was reconnecting me with Midnight. And now I'm so looking forward to picking up that series. So you guys stay tuned because you know I'm going to be delving deep into that one. Um, I'd like to thank everybody who took the time to watch the video. Thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for taking the time to, you know, um, trust me. I've, I've, I've received the comments. Um, I get the calls, I get the text messages, I get the DMs. Thank you guys so much. You trust me. You guys, um, really think that, um, I know my books and I, I, I take pride in that. Um, I also want to take a minute and just thank my literary twin, Robert White of Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. Please go and, uh, subscribe to his channel as well. Because he's the one who told me, um, that this book was different um good yet different and you know we have similar beliefs i mean we haven't we haven't um what's the word i'm looking for bumped heads again about any book to date to date now where i might place a book um in one position he may place it in another um but we, we and I want to thank him. Um, like I said, we have very similar thoughts in, in our books. And he told me to pick it up, read it, and I would enjoy it. And Robert, I thank you because I really, really, really enjoyed this book. So please go out and get it. Um, and, and let me know your thoughts. If you've read it, please let me know if you thought. If you didn't like it, I'd also like to know your thoughts because... Maybe, you know, we can agree to disagree, you know, and what works for me, again, may not necessarily work for you. So I want to hear you guys' thoughts about, about this book um, and tell me what you think about Midnight if you've read that one as well. Okay, so until next time, guys, be blessed and happy reading.